Hello and welcome to another episode of Virtual Legality. I'm your host, Richard Hogue, managing member of the Hogue Law Business Law Firm of Northville, Michigan. And today I thought we would try something a little different. Obviously, the Twitter logo is on your screen and we're talking about Elon Musk potentially buying one of the biggest social media presences on the planet. If you want more substantive discussion of that about the law, about business, about fiduciary duty, and more, please do check out our playlist, Elon Musk versus Twitter. But no, today I wanted to take a little quicker view at this for something that I found particularly amusing. So in the tag to yesterday's video, I said, you just know he laughed as he added that 20 cents in virtual legality because the offering price that Elon Musk has made for every share of Twitter is $54.20. Now, Mr. Musk has a history with the number 420 and its joke qualities. In August of 2018, Mr. Musk tweeted, I'm considering taking Tesla private at $420, funding secured. Now, he wound up actually getting sued by the U.S. government and the SEC. Securities regulators have sued Elon Musk for allegedly making false statements related to his abandoned efforts to take Tesla Motors private. The SEC specifically alleged that Musk lied when he tweeted on August 7th that he had funding secured for a takeover of the company at $420 a share. Now, of course, $420 is probably a number that many of you recognize for its joke potential, if nothing else. As this paragraph from Axios says, Musk allegedly never discussed the $420 price with any funding source prior to the public tweet. Instead, he got there by calculating a 20% premium to where the stock was trading in early August and then adding an extra dollar because $420 is associated with marijuana and he allegedly thought his girlfriend would find it funny. Enter a tender offer bid for Twitter, which we discussed yesterday more fulsomely, but the price that he offers is not $54. It's $54.20, which he then says represents a 54% premium over the closing price of the stock in January and a 38% premium over the price of the closing stock in April. So remember those numbers we're going to be putting them up on screen. This is lawyers do math as an episode. So I'm going to try not to just kill you with numbers flying at you, but we do have a few uh, because this is kind of the fun of analyzing these small bits of changes to a purchase price and how much that can cost a potential acquirer. So with our first slide, we're going to talk about the total cost of the deal, right? He says a purchase price of $54.20 per share. We know there are 800 million or so shares outstanding in Twitter. We also know that he has purchased approximately 73 million of those. And that leads us to a number of non-Musk shares. This is what he is offering to buy from the people that hold them of 727,526,128 outstanding shares of Twitter. 700 million and change, which means we multiply that $54.20 by that $727 million number, and we get a total additional cost, he's already invested in Twitter, of $39.43 billion to purchase this company. Now that's interesting in enough, right? I talked about it being $30, $40 billion yesterday, but it gets more interesting from there because that $54.20 per share that we talked about before is obviously a joke type number, right? If you look at general acquisitions, as we have seen in the marketplace, they don't usually include cents, right? Here's the Microsoft versus Activision concept. If the merger is completed, you will be entitled to receive $95 in cash or a premium of approximately, as Activision describes it, 45.3% to Activision Blizzard's closing price in January and 50.3% to the volume weighted average price for the 30 days before January. So they say $95 gets you these kind of unusual premium percentages, but we have to be accurate in what we say. And here's where I tell you that Elon Musk, who doesn't really pay attention to details on these kinds of documents that are filed with the SEC, said it was a 54% premium and a 38% premium, and that's not right. See, if you want to hit a specific premium number, ordinarily, that's when you see cents added in. You're trying to hit an actual number, but that's not what is happening here. As I headline here, not hitting specific premiums, the closing price in January was $35.27. The closing price in April was $39.31. And if you're interested in doing this uh, at home, I pull these from the historical dating uh, at the Wall Street Journal website. I will link that in the description. But if you were to hit those percentage numbers for those particular closing prices, you would have paid 5431 
or 5424. Instead, what 5420 actually has as a premium percentage is 53.6 and 37.8, right? All very interesting, all a lot of numbers flying around. But if you were being fully accurate in your letter and your Elon Musk, you would have said 53.6 and 37.8 instead of saying 54 and 38. Now, the really interesting thing there is, as I said, when we were talking about the Microsoft and Activision transaction, ordinarily these are done on whole dollars because if you imagine trying to get shareholders to buy something, there probably isn't a big psychological difference between $54 and $54.20. And if you were actually talking about premiums at the level that you probably should be in your Elon Musk, there isn't a lot of difference between saying 53.1 and 53.6 or 37.3 37.3 and 37.8, which are the real premiums that would be at play at both of those pricing levels, which leads us to why I decided to make this short form video. And that is, so what did joking around about this cost him, right? We saw in the Axios article describing his prior tweet about Tesla, which he got in trouble with the SEC, et cetera, et cetera, that he was willing to spend a whole dollar to actually joke around about marijuana and 420. Here, he quote unquote only joked around at 20 cents. But when you're paying 20 extra cents for 727 million shares, well, the cost of joking around at that level for Mr. Elon Musk is $145 million, 505,225 on top of that. So $145 million to make a joke about pot and marijuana, sure. It's nothing compared to the 39 billion he'd have to gather or liquidate or put together for the rest of the deal. But even to Elon Musk, $145 million isn't nothing. This has been Virtual Legality for today. If you enjoy this kind of content, please do check out ways to support us on Utreon and Patreon. Otherwise, just subscribing and telling your friends is more than enough. You caught this on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. And if you listen to it as a podcast, thank you so much for listening. And I will catch you on the very next episode of virtual legality. Virtual legality is a YouTube video series with audio podcast versions presented as commentary and for education and entertainment purposes only. It does not constitute legal advice and does not create an attorney client relationship. If you have legal questions about the topics discussed, please consult your own legal counsel.